And this is really going to be a kind of going further uh, uh, demo. Um, and the idea here is that we want to retain data tree information when we go outside of Grasshopper, right? Once we've created our geometry, we need to do something with it in Rhino. So we're going to be baking it. How can we uh, keep those custom labels that we just made um, and um, have them be attached to the object information that we um, that we kind of reassigned, right? So if we decompose paths, we can use, again, the parts of the path, the, let, the numbers, 0, 1, 2, or whatever that are in A, B, and C, and turn them into a string, uh, which is just a collection of alphanumeric characters. Use that string uh, with uh, per perhaps an add-on uh, called like Lunchbox, which is developed by our friend Nathan Miller. It's a really great plugin for Grasshopper. It allows us to do some custom baking. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what that might look like. Again, this is going to be uh, very brief because we're at the end of the course, but the idea here is that we're using the exact same process, right, um, as you might have uh, seen. In, this is the exact same process that we did in the last file. Let's see, make this smaller. Where's the preview? Oh, so the preview is down here. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking in our uh, polylines and then we're um, decomposing the, uh, the path again so that we get at just the, the letters and, in this case, numbers of what that path contains. So A and B are now here on each list. And then instead of uh, actually laser cutting, if we were to bake these labels like this, right, these have curly brackets, semicolons, that makes for a messy laser cut. Uh, so the idea would be that we make a simpler version of that by weaving these two numbers together with a dash, which is just the simplest way to separate numbers, um, and the most efficient. Join that those strings together. So what was 0 dash and 162 becomes one thing, 0 dash 162. And then we can use that tag as a way to identify all of our parts. And because we've sorted them uh, in the manner that we were uh, intending, right, we can use that to know which to assemble to what, right? So we have this as a key to what goes next to what. The numbers generally help us define um, the order, right? The first letter, A, is going to help us tell, tell us what comes first. And the idea would be then that we would just use an add-on like Lunchbox which under the workflow tab allows you to do a custom object bake, giving the baked objects. The object name will come from the string, and then we'll just do a little button to trigger this. And we should have all of our objects where each one has now its uh, unique uh, value assigned to it within the object name, right? So we're now taking what was our custom data structure and bringing it into uh, Rhino and attaching it to the object to kind of give it some deep information coming all the way back from how we set things up in Grasshopper. And again, this is great for fabrication, coordination of, uh, of a project, if this is a facade or, or this is a part of your product that you're developing. Uh, in any way, you can coordinate the objects after they've been uh, made static from Grasshopper. All right, so we have uh, uh, just a couple minutes for questions if you have any. So um, if you do, go ahead and drop them in the uh, question window, and we'll address them together as a group.